Neil Smith, thank you very much for joining us. Training sessions done for another week. Uh, we look forward to a big week of football with Chester and Aldershot. Starting off with Chester, third from bottom. Uh, it's going to be a difficult game. Yeah, watched them against Wrexham the other day. Obviously, Wrexham are up there and it was a very close game. I think Chester hit the post, hit the crossbar, and a couple of uh, near efforts. So we know, we, we know it's not going to be an easy one. It's going to be a very tough game. They want to stay in this division. Marcus Bignett's a very good, experienced manager. Um, so... You know, we're going to have to be at full tilt. And um, they trained really, really hard this week. And it's uh, a few players are coming back. Obviously, George Porter from suspension. A couple of injuries that have uh, come back as well. So, we're just under full full squad, but really looking forward to it. Despite missing the two penalties at Geisley, you've still got the last-minute winner. Does that just show the character of the guys never giving up this season? Yeah, they keep on going. You know, it's been easy to feel sorry for themselves. We've just missed two. They're down to ten men. You've got all the, all the excuses under the sun from, you know why we didn't do it and we should have but they didn't they just kept on going and they've, they've been like that since you know the start of the season but we're going to need it again with the three games that are coming up obviously starting with Chester on Saturday that's it and they're moving on to Aldershot um, on Tuesday they're riding high at the moment so uh, but so are we so uh, confidence in both camps yeah I, th- I think I think they were sort of like a ballpark for everybody Aldershot from last year you know the way they played small squad everything else so everyone was putting them up there as this is what we've got to uh, try and achieve and I think we're up there with them so you know fair play to our boys that have come in and, and, and done what they've done but again they're all, they're all difficult games there's no easy games in this division and uh, you know once Chester's out of the way I'll know what I've got for the for the Tuesday game I just want to touch base on that really um, for the, the entire season so far I think a lot of bookmakers etc wrote us off one of the favourites to go down and I mean how, how's it how is it looking at that to then be sort of like sixth in the league and challenging the big boys getting the big results against big teams <sighs> We, we, we've never believed that we were going to be in the relegation fight. We, we believed in ourselves, we believed in each other. Um, but you've, you can only put that belief out on the, on the pitch on the Saturday. And I think we got off to such a good start to the, the, the season. We've just tried to maintain it. We have got a, th- a thin squad, but the players have kept fit. They've kept working hard. There's competition for places now, um, which obviously means you've got a place you're best to stay in the team. Um, so, yeah, that we, you know, I think, I think we showed some of the boys. I think we were the fifth favourite team to go down this year, which I thought was disrespectful in some ways, considering we came 10th the year before. But... Um, I think because we lost so many players, I think they just assumed that we wouldn't be out of jail. And, and that's fair play to the players, the management as well. Um, Mark Hammond, you know, Dunny coming on board, um, obviously Shims as well. And the board of directors giving faith in the players that we brought in. Um, and I think we're getting our just rewards, but we've, we've not cracked it by any means. And I think that's what we've got as well. We've got very humble players. They keep their feet on the ground. You know, they enjoy the win when, they, when we get one, but know that we've got to work hard and be at our full um, 100% performance to get a result in this division.